Right, some time ago I changed the uh, counter shaft bearings in my Myford ML7 and, and I talked about how to actually oil the counter shaft here. Some people put um, oilers like these on top of this uh, counter shaft assembly and that's not right. You're meant to have a proper button oiler in these and that's because you inject the oil into the counter shaft and it pushes out the old oil and obviously puts new oil in around the um, bearings. So today I'd just like to show you a quick um, tool that I've made up out of an old oil can. I've made this assembly here by drilling through a piece of um, 5 sixteenths brass from both ends with a long series drill and then I've put an end on here which suits the button oilers so I can actually push down um, quite hard on there with my other hand and pump the oil can and push the oil into that counter shaft bearing until it drips out through the sides and then I know that it's pushed out the old oil from the actual bearing and it's a phosphor bronze bearing in these um, counter shafts. I can also fill my um, oilers on top of the main spindle here using the same tool and also I can actually do the oilers on the um, uh, ways as well. So it's just basically an old oil can and these ones here can you can get very good pressure up on these old ones. Take off the old spout and make up an assembly which suits the button oiler. And I showed this manifold in a video a long time ago now and I made these oilers up so I've got a wick oiler on the back here and um, when I'm machining for a long time I um, undo the top here which allows air into that one and then it'll start um, drip feeding onto the um, main bearing. And this one is just basically uh, fill up and use this amount here for short um, machining jobs. So I'll leave this one closed, save all the oil in that and just put a shot of oil in here for quick machining. And I've put a button oiler on the top of both of those so I can actually just fill those up without having to undo um, a screw lid or whatever. And I made these front and back for both bearings and this has saved me so much oil. I did have um, one of the bought drip feed um, type oilers but I could never get the control right on those and they used to waste a lot of oil. This is the best method for actually saving oil but also protecting the main bearings. So when I use the oil can on this um, counter shaft, push down nice and tight onto the button oiler and pump the oil can and you'll see the oil appearing around the end of the bearing shaft here but also dripping from the inner side. So I know that's cleaned out the old oil and sometimes the old oil comes out quite black I can actually pump that until fresh oil comes out and then I know those bearings are got lovely clean oil around them and will last. So this is the top of the front counter shaft on the Myford ML7 and you can see there that I've changed the old um, button oilers uh, for good quality ones with a dome so it fits my oiler tool. And I did actually change these when I put new counter shaft bearings um, in this um, Myford ML7 and they're still absolutely perfect, there's no play in them whatsoever and this is the method I've been using since I renewed the bearings. So it's just a quick update video today, I'm not going to do any machining today because the um, weather is really cold here and the uh, air is really cold in this workshop and I don't have any heating system or whatever so I can only do small jobs at the moment.